Hi there, it's Sandy Freshy back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's topic is being uh, filmed out at our local park and trail because uh, what I want to talk about is what to do when you can't get in touch with your strategy and authority. Uh, this is like the primary thing that you, uh, when you, when you stumble upon human design, that you really want to understand about yourself because it's what is going to align you to your authentic path and the highest expression of your purpose. So a lot of times um, you get your chart and maybe you get a, a reading, your first reading, and um, you get these uh, mechanical uh, understandings of how you um, are, your strategy is supposed to work and how your uh, authority, your inner authority works. Um, and then you take it back to your real life and sometimes it's like, wait, what? <laughs> is this, am I responding with my sacral? Is this an invitation? How long do I need to wait? What am I doing while I'm waiting? Um, what is this uh, G-Center authority? All of those uh, questions that come up with the nuances of living your life. That's my dog, by the way, back there. <laughs> uh, so what I want to encourage you to do along with your uh, uh, experiment of strategy and authority is to get in touch with how embodied you are. Be in your body because that's really what strategy and authority is about. It's about helping you to recognize um, your embodied knowing about what is correct for you. What is the correct timing for taking actions? Who are the correct people to take actions with? What is the correct environment for you? All of those things. And you need to be in your body. Even if you have an outer authority, like you're a mental projector, you need to be in your body in order to uh, actually uh, feel through your strategy and authority, to feel what that invitation feels like, or to feel what that sacral response is about, or even manifestors to feel the right timing or uh, the right into the right person or the right situation to initiate someone or something into action. Uh, so that's why we're out here on this trail right now. <laughs> Because this is what I do, or one of the things I do to uh, stay embodied. And it really helps me. It may not help you. You may have a different way of being embodied. But it really helps me to be among the trees, to uh, kind of uh, let go of what I may have absorbed through my uh, penetrating and absorb absorbing aura. I'm a, a projector. Um, and to get back into what it feels like to be me, what it feels like to be in my body. And that way I know when uh, I'm not fully in my body and I know that I don't have truth or access to truth, access to my authority um, because I'm not fully embodied. Some other things that you may want to do along with your uh, experiment of strategy and authority um, are things like meditation. And I'll put a link down below of a mindfulness-based meditation training that you can actually go through for free. Uh, I found it online. I'm actually moving through it myself to up-level my own meditation practice. So I'd love to know what you do to be embodied, uh, how you stay in your own body, uh, what practices do you put into place or have you put into place to be embodied, or do you feel like you're not in your body and maybe that is perhaps why you're struggling with feeling into your strategy and your decision-making authority. So leave a comment 
and uh, let's uh, discuss this a little bit and see how it develops and, and see what uh, we can contribute to uh, other people's awareness and also how we can expand our own in terms of living in alignment with the highest aspects of ourselves, our design, and our lives. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me, and until the next time, be well.